Y'all, who's going to pass by me and tell me this is not my hair? Who is really going to do it? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we have another wig video, and matter of fact, hold on, who said this was a wig? Who said this was a wig? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you because wig wear, lace wear, yeah, that's what I thought. Today's video is all about this wig. I'm gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna tell you all the specs. I'm gonna show you this hairline, show you that this baby took, when I tell you no work, effortless, please watch the video. Before we get into it, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload hair, wigs, nails, all of it. Everything beauty is on this channel. So if that's what you're into, you're going to love it. I won't keep you guys waiting. I know you want to know. I know you want to see it. So stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, guys, we are back with an I like hair wig.com review. In the unboxing, I'm showing you that it comes with a wig cap. It also comes with this goodie bag that has clips and an edge brush in it, as well as a barrette. You get your rat tail comb and an adjustable band that can be hooked in the back. I could not get over the texture of this hair when I pulled it out of the box. It was already bouncy and soft. The texture is absolutely gorgeous. This is a 13 by 4 unit. And as you can see, the lace looks really, really good. There are two combs on the side. Then you get your comb in the back, as well as your adjustable straps on the side. And then you also have another comb at the back of the lace. Look at this hairline. Do you guys see this hairline? This is called their Hyper Realism Kinky Edge HD Lace. The edges feel like coarser hair but that is the whole point of it with this texture it looks more realistic once you comb them out i did see that they smooth out a little bit so i just knew this was going to be perfect i'm using my kenra thermal spray this spray helps to hold the curl a little bit but it doesn't get crunchy and i always like using heat protectants in my wigs especially the ones that are on the pricier side so i just put this in the hair and then went through and curled it with my flat iron slash air stylist little tool I got from Lange, Lange, however you pronounce that. I love this thing because I can get really nice curls and it cools the hair off as it's curling it. So I do find that it helps the curls to stay a little longer. I love using this on my wigs. I've started using it on my hair too, but I haven't quite mastered curling my hair with it, it's a little awkward, but wigs, it's perfect. I'm just showing you guys that I am combing all of the hair away from the face and I'm curling it away from the face. I love doing this with my longer wigs. I do it with the shorter ones too, but I just think that it looks better and even when the curls fall, Still just having the waves away from the face makes it look more youthful and more stylish. I'm not going to show you me curling the whole wig, but I wanted to show you this back part because you can see some of the texture in the back is not as straight as the hair in the front. It looks like in the back and maybe like some in the middle of the head looks like it wasn't flat ironed as much, but still I feel like that gives it a more realistic look. So just keep that in mind. All right. So if you skipped through my intro, you gonna hear it again right here. I need to tell y'all about the specs of this unit. I don't think I have been this excited about a wig in a really long time. One thing about me, I don't do baby hairs. I want it to look natural. I want it to look like it is something that could have grown out of my head. 
So when I saw this wig, I knew it was one that I had to try. This is from the brand ilikehairwig.com. And when I saw videos of this type of wig coming out on YouTube, I was like, hold on, I have to try it. I reached out to them and I asked them if they would be willing to send me a unit to review and they said yes. So thank you so much for working with me on that. I'm excited about this collaboration. I gotta tell y'all the specs, you need to hear this. This unit is a 13 by four. Let's double check because she's right here next to me, but this is called their Hyper Realism Kinky Edge HD Lace Frontal Ventilated Wig. Now, I picked mine in 18 inches. I'm getting better with my lengths. Y'all know I used to stay around 12 or 14 to feel like that felt natural, but 18 in this texture just feels like a full head of healthy, gorgeous, natural hair that has been blown out or maybe not quite flat iron because it's not that straight but just it looks like it could be natural so i styled her i just put some little curls in her i don't really love wearing my wig straight and i'm gonna get her off the mannequin head here so you guys can see what she looks like so this is the unit right here if you watched my unboxing i styled a little bit this was like two or three days ago. I did this Saturday, Friday, and today is Monday. So put a little hairspray, but the curls are still pretty hold, holding pretty much for the most part. I just didn't want it to be all the way straight. This is the focus. This is the focus of this wig. Look at this hairline. The front of it looks like, you know, maybe we need a relaxer. We need a little touch up, or maybe this is my natural hair and this is what my roots look like, but it doesn't get more realistic than this. This lace is so soft. And like I said, I've worked with them before. I love that I've ordered from them and I've also gotten stuff sent from them. And I just feel like the wigs that I paid for myself look the same as what I've collaborated with. So it's not like, you know, you get in a collaboration wig and it looks all good and then you get something else that you order and it doesn't look the same. Lace is gorgeous and I am super duper, super duper excited to put this on my head. So I just wanna make sure, yes, she is a 13 by four, kinky straight texture and this is an HD lace. So I'm gonna put on my wig grip because you are supposed to be able to wear this glueless. I'm gonna put a little powder on the lace and then we're just gonna put it on. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like and I'm gonna decide then if I need to spray it or anything like that, but I don't know if I wanna do all that because I ain't going nowhere. So I wanna see how good it can look without doing all that. So I went ahead and I put the adjustable comb in the back right here so that I can try to wear it glueless because like I said, it says that she is supposed to be able to be worn that way but I haven't tinted the lace yet. I haven't done anything. I just want you guys to see how this blends. If you don't do any of that, I wanna see how beginner friendly this is. Now I can tell you right now, this cap feels very good on my head. I do feel like I'm one of those girls that belong in the big head gang. So <laughs> I will say right off the bat that this cap is very big head friendly. I do have this pulled down on my forehead quite a bit. I don't plan on keeping it there. So I would say I would probably do about right there but just right now i haven't put any powder on the lace and you can see look at that hairline yeah i'll probably cut a tiny little bit off just because i want it to mimic my hairline more and my hairline actually goes back but i'm not going to cut too much because i want to be able to keep the texture but i feel like this is going to lay pretty snug when i cut the lace so I haven't even put anything on it. So you can see me, this is the hairline. And you can see my hairline is further back 
so probably cut a little bit of that off too but yeah i know y'all see it anyway look at this texture i would probably just put a little of my sleek and shine in it just to kind of give it a little bit of shine but i wanted to keep it straight ish but still just have a little bit of wave in it so i think this is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna work on cutting the lace off. I'm gonna decide if I need to put a little powder just in the front, but it's looking good already. All right, so I have just cut off the lace. I haven't done anything else, and you can see this is what it looks like on my head. I could probably cut a little tiny bit more lace off, but I don't want to cut off too much because I don't want to cut off the edges. You do not want to hot comb these. We are not doing baby hairs. That is not the point of these wigs. It's supposed to be just a realistic hairline that looks like your hair, and I feel like this is definitely giving that. So I'm gonna take my foundation brush and just put that right here around the edges to darken that up a little tiny bit. And you can see that has made a difference already, this side versus this side. This lace is so thin. I probably would, I could either bobby pin because I have done that before with my sides when I know that I'm not worried too much about them showing, I could bobby pin my sides or I could spray it just a tiny bit, but right here across the front, see, let me see. Yeah, there we go, we just got a little too much lace. But even still, like this is more lace than I normally leave on a wig, but because it blends so well, and because of how the hairline is made, you kind of want to leave some extra lace so that it looks like it's just blending in. Y'all, I'm not gonna have to glue this down. And I could also put my tabs in the back tighter. I did not do that. I know y'all see this. I am not gluing this wig down. I don't feel like I need to especially right here in the front. And if you're planning on just leaving the hair, oh, maybe I can get it. I might have to spray just a tiny bit, but that is nothing. That is blending flawless. This side, you can't even see it. So maybe I just need to make my little hairs come forward a little bit. Like this feels so real right now. I'm just gonna comb them out a little bit so they will be, I'll get the extra hair out the hairline that I cut out when I cut the lace. Like, ooh, she is definitely a little kinky. Ain't even gonna lie, but that is the whole point. But like, even when I comb it back, look at that. This is crazy to me, like <laughs> insane. I don't think I want to do a part or anything dedicated. I kind of just want to flip it over and see what we can do just to give it that natural look. Y'all, who's going to pass by me and tell me this is not my hair? Who is really going to do it? Let me go ahead and add some of my sleek and shine in it just to help give it a little more luster. Y'all know we got to rock a side part. I love a side part. I might curl this front just a little bit more. I don't want to even cut layers in it. I kind of do, but I don't. I might just try to curl it and see what happens. But y'all look at this. This is the length, 18 inches. It's so thick. And I know it's the texture giving it the thickness, 
But just imagine if I wanted to like lay this down for real, for real. Yeah, let me curl this little piece in front. And then as if you don't know my final thoughts already, <laughs> I'm gonna come back with my final thoughts. I'm gonna need about five more of these wigs. Like, yo, it's not glued down. It is not glued down. I decided not to, so you can see right here, she is not glued down. Oh my God. I like hairwig.com. Oh my God. Yes. So much yes. <laughs> so much yes. Fight me. If you wanna say it's not mine, fight me. Right here, right now, let's go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can see the quality of the lace, the quality of the hair. If you need a beginner friendly wig, it is a little pricey. It is a little pricey, but you get what you pay for. This is a throw on and go, and this looks amazing. This is a date night. This is a run to Target. This is a, it's a whatever. It's whatever you want to make it. This wig is absolutely beautiful, and I am so, so glad to have this in my collection. It is going to be, it is definitely going to be one of my top wigs. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Y'all look at this lace. Look at this hairline. Let me know what you think. Would you wear it? Would you get one? I have a coupon code below if you want to get a discount. You know I had to ask for you guys. So check out the description box for all the information. Thank you again, ilikehairwig.com for collaborating with me on this video. So absolutely worth it. And I'm going to need to buy full five mo because... This is me. This is me. <laughs> All right. I got to go. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to just keep rambling. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I hope you decided to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.